Some people have no respect. Think about kids with draw paint backpacks in high school or Krishan Rock. But this video is not about them. Let's get into Aizen. I'm stronger. I'm smarter. I'm better. Aizen simply didn't care who you were or what you were. This man had no respect for you regardless. That man's gonna talk to you like Chef Ramsay when you forget the lamb sauce or your dad when you're not holding the flashlight straight. As far as we can go back, we see Aizen brutally beat up Rengoku in front of her mans. Then Shinji gets caught by Tosin cause he's black therefore he's stronger. When Shinji goes to call out Tosin, Aizen appears like, Yo, my photo G, that was me that betrayed you. Now I'm gonna turn you into a hollow and leave your whole team to die. Also, I'm gonna go snitch on Kisuke and say he did it and not me, getting that man sent to the real world. Aizen then pulled up on Ichigo's dad and jumped him, also cursing his mom, but not just his mom, he decided to curse their whole lineage for the rest of eternity. He doesn't comprehend peace. He wants straight war and chaos. That man doesn't care if you're black, he don't care if you white, he don't care if you yellow, he don't care what you are, you need to suffer, and he has no respect for you. The disrespect doesn't stop there, he then pulls up and mercs the Central 56 for whatever reason. But let's be honest, we never liked them anyway, they're like those kids that are like, I would never let that fly in my hood, if I catch you on my hood on my set, man, I'm gonna have to do you in, man. The hood be looking different nowadays, alright, has a gated community, a two car garage, and two parents. He then fakes his death, making his vice captain be suspicious that her childhood best friend killed him and is a secret snake. But once they start fighting about it, he pulls up and basically mercs them both. He almost puts them on a t-shirt. Man, I just gotta say this, bro. Can the Heat Sugaya nonsense just stop? Can he catch a W? We made him a prodigy, and they never let him win. Just let him do something. Then he pulls up on Renji and delivers an MLK speech. He says you can hold Ruki if you want to, but you'll have to leave your arms behind before cutting his Zonbok toe in half and then also cutting his arm. Ichigo then pulls up in the strongest form we've seen yet, and Aizen breaks the anime rules by disrespecting the main character and stopping his plot armor. He didn't only stop the plot armor, he stopped Ichigo's sword with his four fingers. Aizen caught the Bankai sword with only one hand, can you believe that? That's why he's the GOAT. No one's ever heard of Ichigo! That's what I'm saying. Yo! I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it! He then cuts up this living dogecoin and reenacts what would happen in the Asian kitchen. He then gets surrounded and vanishes into the sky with a glowing beam around him. This man literally goes to the shadow realm for no reason. And then he throws off his glasses and slick backs his hair, becoming a light skin. We have never seen disrespect like this, bro. This is why Aizen's loved. You can't smoke everyone and then leave into the air, levitating, and become light skin just combing through your hair. You can't do that. You cannot do that. You cannot do that, bro. Then he builds the most powerful gang imaginable. This is like my, NBA my, my, my young boy joining Lil Durk in an anime. This man kidnaps Orihime and thinks he's Duke <laughs> Dennis rubbing his hands together in the mirror. All I'm gonna say is, if Aizen had his old haircut, that would be sexual harassment. But now that he's light skinned, Wizzy! Everyone pulls up on Aizen later on and tries to jump him, but Me this man does not care. I he literally makes Hitsugaya cut down his own best friend. Can Hitsugaya get a break? Then he dog walks Ichigo and his dad. Could you imagine your dad getting beat up in front of you? Yeah, I know what happens next. Ichigo comes back more light skin and ratios Aizen. I'm talking Uno reverse card, catches his sword, sends him straight to a purgatory chair. Yeah, it's not looking good for him. But the thing is, he's still disrespectful and he ain't no rat, alright? When your watch comes to free him, he says, I'll offer you a job. Aizen says, Noni? Me? Work for you? I'm nobody's underling. What a boss. Ever since Blackbeard was young, he couldn't sleep. You know who else can't sleep? I can't go to sleep NBA, young boy. <laughs> Most times when you can't sleep and it goes past that 3 a.m. mark, you start acting suspicious. If you're a man watching this video, you know that you better not fall asleep first at the sleepover. Because once it's past 3 a.m., men no longer have any morals. They start having deplorable behavior and doing bad things. Just like Blackbeard. Blackbeard is honestly more of a snake than Orochimaru. He joined the Whitebeard Pirates, became a son of Whitebeard, befriended Marco, Thatch and Ace. He sees his homie go up in life getting a devil fruit, and he looks at him like, Yep, this nigga's done for. Stab Thatch in the back. Literally. They should call this man Krispy Kreme the way he's making donuts. He then took Thatch's devil fruit and ate it for himself. 
He also pulls one Ace's brother and tries to collect his bounty. This man working for the police. Blackbeard was really gonna clap Zoro and Luffy, bro. Honestly, I can't stand Zoro, bro. Z whoa, 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 Zoro, hold up. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> He really pulled up like, Hello everybody, this is Ibadi. I'm here to help with the computer service. I need you 100 million Betty Bounty. After this, Ace made the mistake of trying to pull up on Blackbeard. And if you know Blackbeard like I know Blackbeard, you would know he personally doesn't let that slide. His gang also does not tolerate disrespect. So they humbly jump Ace and put him back into his place, aka the cage. Bro, that was a bar! That was a bar! Being the little rat he is, he sends Ace to the police where this man's gonna be executed. But before that, this man spends his time in prison. <laughs> Down, terrible. Does Blackbeard care? Absolutely not. No respect. After all of this bad behavior, this man gets offered a job by the Marines. After this, do you think he's like, hmm, I got a new job. Let me not mess this up. No, he's ready to backstab them too. He don't care about no one. He's fighting his own war and he has no rules. No boundaries, he doesn't flinch at torture, human trafficking, or genocide. He's not loyal to a flag or a country or any set of ideals. So he pulls up to your local prison and frees everyone saying, join me if you want to. Then he attacks Whitebeard, killing that man, turning him into a donut as well, also responsible for Ace dying, turning him into a donut as well, but this man does not care. The first thing he does is walk up to Whitebeard and steal his devil fruit underneath a blanket. I couldn't tell if he was given top or taking the fruit, but either way, he comes out with powers. Do you think this man's humble and like, hmm, I'm the first man in history to have two devil fruits. Maybe I'll be hungry and chill out. No! He wants destruction. He starts by destroying the whole place, and then he dips. After this, he went and killed Gecko Moria's best friend, disrespecting him, taking over Rox Dizabek's home base, and just starts chilling with the hoes. He literally kidnaps one too, he don't care about nothing. Then after that, once he's done with her, he leaves her and turns her into the Marines. This man is truly a demon. He also becomes a Yonko. He's living his best life. And I came across this video on YouTube the other day. Let's talk game. And nah, not the game that most people lack it seems nowadays. Nah. Video games. Give them a hug and a big car. 